My name is Colleen and this is my kitchen. Believe it or not, this was me four years ago. I struggled with my weight my entire life. And finally, I came to the realization that diets don't work. By simply eating healthy and moving more, I was able to lose over 100 pounds. I started at a size 26W and within about a year and a half, I went to a size 12, no W. And best of all, I've now kept the weight off for over two years and counting. So now here I am in my kitchen showing you how you can eat healthy and lose weight just like I have. Because if I can do it, you can too. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. It is early in the morning here, which is why I'm looking a little bit rough, and it's very, very cold, which is why I'm bundled up in a sweater as well. So it is a perfect day to put the slow cooker to use, making a nice, hearty, hot stew. And today we're gonna to be making a red wine and beef stew. That is gonna be absolutely delicious and super easy because we're just gonna throw everything in the slow cooker and let it simmer away throughout the day. So let's go ahead and get started. You actually want to start this dish the night before. I have a pound and a half of lean beef stew meat that I cut into slightly smaller chunks and I marinate it in one cup of red wine overnight. That's really going to infuse the flavor of the dish. I use this great Australian Shiraz. It's a nice full bodied dry uh, red wine that will add a lot of flavor to the dish. So, to go ahead and start mixing everything together, first of all, I have two cups of fresh carrots that I've chopped up, two cups of parsnip that I also chopped up here. I like to make my stews really hearty and full of lots of vegetables. And I have one cup of sweet onion, a cup and a half of mushrooms, I'm using brown mushrooms, also known as crimini mushrooms. Then I have a pound and a half of Yukon Gold potatoes. And what's great about these Yukon Gold potatoes is they have this nice papery skin that's a good source of fiber, but it cooks up really nicely, so it it's not, doesn't create any heavy texture in the dish. And they have this great buttery flavor that's just absolutely delicious. Let's add one can of diced tomatoes, no salt added. Now, let's go ahead and add that beef and the red wine. We're gonna add the whole thing right into that dish. You can see my slow cooker is getting full, but that's okay, because this is gonna cook down quite a bit. We're gonna add four cups of beef broth. I recommend using a low sodium beef broth. And then the last step is to add some herbs and spices. I have two tablespoons of chopped fresh rosemary here. You wanna make sure to use fresh, not dried rosemary for this. And then a pinch of coarse sea salt. Let's give that a good stir. Once I have that mixed up, I have one bay leaf here I'm just going to bury right in the center of the pot. And that's it. Now all I'm going to do is cover this and let it cook all day long. Now my slow cooker has a setting on it where I can set the number of hours that I want it to cook. This one needs to be cooked at either 8 or 10 hours. Um, there is a difference in the temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and let it cook for 8 hours, but if you have a long day at work, you can let it go for up to 10 as long as your crock pot will differentiate between those uh, temperatures. And here we go, red wine and beef stew. That's right, there's nothing else to do when you come home except for to give the stew a stir and serve yourself up a nice hot bowl. Now this recipe is gonna serve eight people at about a cup and a half of stew each. I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy my red wine and beef stew. I hope you'll give this a try. Let me know what you think and I will see you next time in my kitchen.